Take her pants off, we don't have long, boy. I fucking told you to take her pants off, no one will ever know. But what if someone sees, no one is around, don't worry about it, let's do this shit. Go back to the party, no one will ever know. Nora is pulling up in like 20 minutes, so we have to do this quick. What does Nora have to do with this? Shut the fuck up and grab that camera over there, press the red button and make sure it's recording, dude. We're about to go down in history, do you understand? You're the photography major, make sure it's from the waist down. If you get my face in this, make sure you cut it out. The last thing that I need is another dumb bitch telling her daddy on me. But what if she wakes up? I'll just give her another dose. She's like 16 years old, she'll be fine. Hurry up. Little did they know that I was still awake. And I am 17. Thank you very much, I have watched way too many true crime shows to put up a fight in the moment I took my shitty iPhone 8 Plus out and hit the little red button and recorded the whole ordeal. I will spare you the details, but it did not end well for me. The last thing I remember is taking a drink from an average looking guy. He was blonde haired, blue eyes, short and stocky. Personally, I would have never paid him any attention, but something drew me to him. Was it his piercing blue eyes? No, was it his stocky build? No, something about the way this guy approached me with such confidence made me feel secure and safe. His eyes were kind and his words rolled off of his tongue effortlessly. I almost became weak at the knees when he said, I'm not going to finish my drink. Do you want the rest? Honestly, the closest thing I have ever had to drink was a sip of wine at my church's communion. But hey, Jesus turned water into wine, right? In my case, Jesus only gave me a lukewarm party punch that was probably concocted by Satan himself. But you pick your own battles, right? I took a sip and the last thing I knew I was rape bait. But don't think that's the end. Because it would be a really shitty story if it ended there. I am not a type of person to leave you with a cliffhanger. This book is solely about revenge and how I ended up in in prison chapter one billy yes mom i'll be home by 12 to some people they think that i lived the life i grew up in a big house on the lake it's one of those houses people drive by and take pictures of because it's so great to me it feels like a prison every day i wake up walk downstairs cook myself breakfast that consists of a protein shake and eggs and i carry about my day lately my parents have been sleeping in different bedrooms so it sets the mood for the whole house i can't remember the last time they even kissed or told each other that they loved one another i usually fall asleep to the sound of them arguing over work or how poorly i'm doing at school i don't mean to do yeah it's totally new that i was still awake Phil and remember the last time they even kissed or told each other that they loved one another i usually fall asleep to the sound of them arguing over work or